it's me, Trixie Mattel. I know what you're thinking when you saw this thumbnail. Oh my God, is that Marley Shelton? No, it's me, Trixie Mattel. Comedian, musician, cosmetics, entrepreneur, all around total Betty. Today, I thought we'd take a trip down memory lane because I did a video called um, me reacting to my makeup tutorial from 10 years ago. <laughs> I figured out that you are happiest when I'm being humiliated. So I have not watched season seven in a very long time. So I figure we start with my entrance into Drag Race. Let's see what I was serving. What was she serving? Who is she? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> I, I see a $5 dress. The white pumps, I, listen, those $40 white pumps, you probably see them in every episode of this because I had like three pairs of shoes. Cosmetics are a journey. I mean, this is not the worst look of my life. Love the lip color. I can tell you that's St. Germain. Two wigs double stacked. And then that clip on bang is a ponytail that is just, I mean, not, it's just, it's not, I mean, does that look like a bang to you? You know what? Oh. Mommy doesn't get drunk. She just has fun. I mean, I had a lot of lashes on. That's good. Also, not to clock the spook. You notice that white cape I have on? Mama, that is not a cape. That is a skirt pulled up around my shoulders. Not a great look. Moving on. Not the worst. You can tell this is filmed the same day. My makeup is exactly the same as before. And that is, that is, that is, that is a big earring clipped in the hair like it's a hair clip because I'm pretty sure my sideburn was showing. The walk's not bad. I mean, come on. Who kind of a serve? Look at me throw my shoulder into that. Mm. I look, I mean, this isn't the worst. I mean, I only say that because I think I know it's going to get worse. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I actually, I think this is cute. I mean, elephant in the room, this does not fit me. And I, I remember this dress. This was a vintage dress. My titties, you can tell, are barely crammed in there. Oh God. Not the worst. Not, oh God, you guys, the makeup, the make, I mean, just the eyelid is so big and so crazy. Look at the matte in that wig. I remember kimchi watching Drag Race when I was on it and going, so you chose to wear matted wigs on TV. <laughs> resort wear. Okay. I'm serving a tennis, a tennis look. I, okay. First of all, it's supposed to be resort wear, which is like a flowy caftans and stuff. I guess resort wear to me was athletic wear. I think I thought, hmm, people at a resort, maybe they're playing tennis. I don't know what I was doing. And look at that, you guys. I had no jewelry on Drag Race. You'll notice in season seven of Drag Race, if you watch it again, you'll notice all my jewelry is made of paper. I said, whoever threw that paper, your mom's a hoe. Even that that um visor, that visor is um styrofoam cut into a crescent shape pinned to my head. Does that look like a visor to you? If I was there, I would advise her differently. Leg warmers, those are absolutely the sleeves of a sweater cut off. What a freak. Jet Set Eleganza, all right. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I absolutely made that hat myself. A pillbox hat with a styrofoam space shuttle hot glued to it with, with I guess, planets? I, I, uh, I don't think I look like I belong with the group. This is one of my better ones. This is absolutely one of my better ones. I remember this gown, I was getting ready to go to Drag Race and we're not supposed to tell anybody. But I remember I called my friend Richard because he was a little older than me. Hi Richard. And I was like, I'm going to summer camp. I need a gown. Because I want to do this like sort of Jesus inspired runway with wings, but I need, I, didn't, I need a dress. So this dress was from Amazon. I believe it was $150. And I remember, you can't tell, Getting in this dress, it was so cheap, the zipper split, and I had to install a new zipper, but they didn't have gold zippers, so I had to spray paint the zipper gold once it was on me. So it zipped up, and I was taking a spray can and going like, Tss. journeys. We're all on journeys. All right, this is the all green runway, and I chose to wear this Vision in Mint. And then there you go again. I don't know if you guys can see. That is that rotted bang piece I talked about, clipped to the side of my head to make it look like an updo. I don't know if that's successful. People knew that Kimchi and I were best friends at the time. And so people were like, did you borrow that costume from Kimchi? I'm like, this gown is Chinese. Kim is Korean. So, um. Hello. Ooh, I mean, I, I don't think I should have had a fortune cookie on my head and went like this. That's a little, that's not very 2020. <laughs> Coronavirus! This runway was um, twins. It was conjoined twins. Pearl did the hair. Pearl did the makeup. I did what little sewing there was. I believe I made the crown. I definitely made these braces. I remember walking down that runway and being like, we are the moment. 
and she is the moment. Pearl kind of has a better face than me in and out of drag, so I mean, she's still, even though we have identical makeup on, she still turned out like the better looking sister, so. This is a cool look, I do like this. Conjoined with another man in a wig, you guys, it was the hottest, most uncomfortable day. Do you remember Jaden Dior Fierce and Tempest Jour literally sewn together? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. This is ugliest dress runway. Fun fact, this dress is from a thrift store in Wisconsin, and I wore this dress for my first drag show ever. I did, um, when I was 21, my first club booking, I did Material Girl by Madonna, and I wore pretty much this exact look. You can tell this is like a Madonna look, basically. I love the bow, I love the hair, I love, oof, ooh, that dance. I love the little lace gloves. I love the shoulders. I would wear this today. This is a half and half runway. I am just not, I am not masculine. <laughs> like, hey, oh. I think it's a cute look. I hate myself in brown hair and I hate this Margaritaville hat, but I mean, I was eliminated for it, so it couldn't have been that good. I look so happy and proud of it. I shouldn't have been, but I was. Oh gosh. And finally, we have my finale runway look, which I loved. You guys, I had this ridiculous big blue eye look on. Gi giant pink lips, uh, lipstick got all over my teeth. It was awful. Every picture I had red teeth. Loved this wig. I think I did this wig. Yeah, I styled this wig. And this dress was actually created by Trevor Rains, who was an original designer for Heatherette. And I, like, worshipped Heatherette when I first started doing drag. So to wear a design from him was like... This look is psycho. And I remember Kennedy Davenport walked up to me and was like, you know what I like about you, girl? You'll just wear anything. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I loved this. And then I remember feeling so beautiful in it. And Pearl, I remember Pearl saw me and went, you are hilarious. And I was like, I thought this was so glamorous. <laughs> and everybody thought it was a joke. And looking back, I mean, it is a little crazy. It's a little crazy looking. I still have this dress. It's over there on the ground. Um, this is probably the only piece of clothing from season seven that I I have. Um, I just love this dress. Even if I never wear it again, it's a great look. It's a great way to leave season seven. Mwah. What did we learn? We learned that I had limited resources. I had uh, maybe not the most uh, refined idea of what I should look like on a television show, but um, hey, I think there was some success here. If you guys would like to see me recap my all-stars looks, let me know. I mean, that's not as long ago, so I probably won't be as embarrassed, and I know you guys feed on my discomfort. <laughs> let's, let's forgive some of the fantasies that I was serving at the time. So uh, thank you guys for joining me. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell because I have new videos all the time. Bye!